Hello, thank you for joining us for this episode of Recipe Share, a program on AADL TV, where we take a few minutes to talk about recipes in a featured category. Today's category is Microwave It. I'm Beth, and I'm here with Elizabeth and Katie to tell us about the recipes. So, Katie, tell us about your recipe. Okay, I will. Um, the recipe that I'm sharing today is for poached egg and arugula salad. And so there's two elements of this recipe that are microwaved, the poached egg, and then also bacon. So you start by making the bacon. And I, this is my favorite way to make bacon. I absolutely hate making bacon on the stove or in the oven. So messy. And I feel like this cuts down, down on a lot of the mess. And I feel like not everybody knows that you can microwave bacon. They make like special microwavable bacon, which has like a ton of packaging and stuff like that. You don't need that. You can just microwave your bacon. You just line a plate with two paper towels. And then for this recipe, I use two to four slices of bacon. Um, and I use center cut bacon that seems to microwave really well. Um, and you just lay out your bacon and then cover it with two more paper towels, put it in the microwave. And it's generally a minute per slice, but I almost always will just cook it for two minutes and then check it every 30 seconds to a minute to just like get it to the appropriate doneness that I'm looking for and make sure that I don't overcook it. So once that bacon is done, you just set that aside and you make your salad, which is a very simple salad of just arugula, sliced red onion and halved cherry tomatoes. And you just toss it extremely lightly with your favorite vinaigrette. And I use uh, garlic expressions, you know, that's my favorite. And, um, but just like way less than I normally would on a salad because the poached egg yolk is going to be part of your salad dressing, right? So once you've got your salad all assembled, you can transfer it to a plate and crumble your bacon on top, and then you make the eggs. So there's a million different techniques out there for poaching eggs in a microwave. And I think it totally depends on your microwave, your egg, your equipment that you're using. So I highly recommend figuring out how to poach the egg before trying this recipe. And it's a wonderful experiment to do with some really good toast. You know, you can um, get it to the proper doneness that you want it for the salad. If you are making the salad and your eggs are like underdone or overdone, it's kind of like ruins it. But if you overdo or underdo it while you're making toast, it's still really delicious. So that's how I recommend learning to do this. Um, but this is how I do it. So it's a half of cup of room temperature water in a thin walled ceramic mug. So not like your thicker mug, a thinner one. And then you crack in your egg, cover it with a small plate and cook it for 60 seconds. And then you just take it out, use a slotted spoon to get your egg out of the water and you put it on a paper towel and just blot off some of the excess water and then use your slotted spoon to transfer it to the salad. Then you repeat the process because I like two eggs on this salad. Um, and I like to run the mug that I'm using. I mean, you use the same mug under some water to just kind of refresh it, get it back to room temperature. So you're not using a hot mug. You get the same egg result. Okay. So then once you got your eggs on your salad, um, I took a picture of of that, I've got my little eggs on top of my salad. I was really hoping to get a beautiful picture of the egg yolks coming out onto the salad, but it just never looked good when I did that. I've seen so many beautiful photographs in cookbooks and online of, you know, this gorgeous poached egg leaking the yolk out and Nope, not for me. You don't get a picture of that, but trust me when I say that it was not beautiful, but this is delicious. You all should try it. It's a wonderful little recipe for one. Sounds really good. Did you get it from a cookbook at all or? No, it's just a combination of things from the internet. Gotcha. So, you know, I just was like, 
like I said, I just like tried after failing the first time with salad, then was like, all right, I'm going to learn how to do this. And I had a bunch of eggs and toast and then, yeah, it was good times. I'm really excited to try your method, Katie. I've been getting into poached eggs and I do them on the stove. Um, I've gotten okay. I mean, I think they're good. I get the texture really well, but I struggle a lot to get the um, like correct shape. I struggle the, you know, it's often kind of like floaty as, you know, and I do stir the water and do the thing, but it, it doesn't look great, which I don't care about for me, but to make them for others. So I'm excited to try your microwave ceramic mug method because I bet it keeps it pretty contained if it's a smaller mug, you know? So that sounds really great. I'm going to try it today. <laughs> cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to see how it turns out for you. Um, yeah, it does keep it more contained. I feel like, yeah. Okay, Elizabeth, tell us what you microwaved. Sure. So um, my recipe also has two microwaved parts. Um, and this is a modification of a recipe that I got years ago. I don't know where I got it from, um, but I've changed it so much that now I just consider it kind of mine. Um, and this is for sweet potato, black bean, and gouda quesadillas. Um, so the first thing that you do is you microwave um, two or three sweet potatoes, depending on how many quesadillas you wanna make. And I personally don't really like microwaving potatoes because I don't think that the flavor is the same as baking or roasting them. But for this recipe, you're gonna make some modifications so it works great. Um, so like Katie said, I think microwaving a sweet potato depends on your microwave, but you know, you prick them, put them in there for five to eight, you know, however many minutes you need to get it pretty soft um, and rotate it. And, you know, um, I just check it and stick a knife in it until it's quite soft. Um, set those aside, let them cool, peel them, and then um, take a bowl and just kind of mash them up until they're pretty smooth. Um, it can be, there can be some chunks. And then I add a small amount of chili powder and some salt and a little bit of brown sugar and just stir it up really well. Um, and then you can assemble your quesadillas. Um, so you have um, some flour tortillas, two of them. Take one and um, spread the sweet potato mixture on it. And then um, take a can of rinsed black beans and put some of those on top of that. And then um, slice up some Gouda cheese and put that on top of that. Put the next tortilla on top and put that in the microwave for about two, two and a half minutes until everything is warm and the Gouda is really, really melty. Um, you can do it on the stovetop if you would like something crispier, but I have found that it doesn't, it often, the tortilla will get um, a little burned before the Gouda gets melty enough. Um, and that might be just a, I mean, I'm sure you could fiddle with the heat and make it perfect, but I like this as a quick, easy, lunch thing. So I just do the microwave. You could also finish it on the stove. If you wanted that crispiness, once it's like nice and warm, you could throw it in a quick pan if you wanted to, but I don't think it's that necessary because it's super good. Um, so you pull it out, it's melty, it's delicious. I have a picture of it right out of the microwave. Um, and then I often top it with a little bit of sour cream cream and cilantro. Um, you could throw some tomatoes on there too, if you want that extra freshness. I have a photo of it with some toppings too. And it's like such a great lunch or a dinner too, that's just quick, especially if you make the sweet potatoes in advance and they're just ready to go. Um, I love the combination of flavors. I think the Gouda works super well because it does get so melty and it has that really yummy flavor. And I don't flavor the beans at all. I mean, I'm sure you could, you could modify this, but you know, the little bit of um, chili powder in the sweet potato makes that like, give that, gives that a little bit of a kick. And then the cilantro and stuff on top just makes it really nice. So I've been making this for like seven or eight years now and I love it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds so good. Um, I was just thinking, I don't know what I'm going to make for lunch yet today. Like I'm going to make this for lunch today. And then I was like, wait, I don't have sweet potato or Gouda. And now I'm sad, but seriously, no, that sounds so amazing. I love all of the ingredients, particularly Gouda, which is something that I absolutely enjoy every time that I have it, but I don't usually keep it around. So I'm going to go get some. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. 
Uh, yeah, that sounds, I love that combination too. Uh, rest, some restaurants have the black bean and sweet potato quesadillas, super yummy. And not to sound like a cheese snob, but uh, I learned many years ago, the, the Dutch way to say Gouda is howda. Um, I, I worked at um, Big Ten Party Store, which is where York, and so I learned when you say howda, nobody knows what you're talking about, but you know, I, my brain is always like, it's howda. Uh, good so to know. That's, that's, a good know. Fact. <laughs> that's good to know, Beth. Yeah. Um, Cool. Well, Beth, what did you microwave this week? Well, it's kind of funny because it's quite similar to what Katie made this time. I got this book, Meal in a Mug. Um, all you need is a mug and a microwave. And I was a little skeptical about it because the first thing I tried was like a rice pudding and that and it was OK, but it wasn't great. But um, I was hungry. And I found this eggs Florentine with hollandaise sauce recipe that I whipped up for lunch a couple of weeks ago. And um, I do, I have a picture as well. Uh, it, it, it looks pretty close to that. So love this. I ended up making it for dinner another time. You, you, you make, first of all, you make your hollandaise sauce in the microwave, which is some really, really terrible for you, but boy, is it good. And it's super simple with uh, just your egg yolk and melted butter. Yeah, you melt the butter first, egg yolk, and then you put it in the microwave for like 20 seconds and keep stirring, and lemon juice, did I say lemon juice? Anyway, uh, and salt, stirring it, you know, it takes like a minute. And then you, you add that, wait a minute, yeah, you basically do that. Your butter's soften, not melted, not, not melted. Then you microwave it. Um, then you fill a large mug with spinach. Um, and I had, which I've been keeping, uh, like this power greens mix. So it's got spinach, kale, and chard. So did that. Um, it says you put plastic over the mug, you know, to steam it. It really, it says two minutes. It took, takes less than a minute. Uh, for it to wilt. And then for the egg, which you do poach as well, you do, you bring water to a boil and you put your uh, broken egg into, I use, rather than a mug this time, I used a little ramekin. Um, and <clears throat> pardon me. So I put the, uh, you put it halfway with the boiling water, then you put it in the microwave for like uh, on low for 20 seconds until it's done. Um, I was so pleased with this. I, it's definitely a keeper. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, the other day, I was just kind of, I thought we were, I was going to make it one day for dinner and then we had something else. So came home going like, well, we're making this, we're having this meal on a Friday night. And, you know, Kurt really liked it too. It was, it was good. Did you put it on toast, Beth? I saw yes. the photo. It was okay. Yes. Yeah. Put it on a piece of toast uh, both those times. Yeah. And it was, it was super. And that hollandaise so good. They say like one that you'll have extra, you know, and there's no extra. Um, <laughs> uh, I love hollandaise sauce. So mm -hmm. to make it like that quickly, it's really it's a good back pocket trick. Well, that's the thing. I've never made it because I feel like, I mean, I feel like it's complicated, isn't it usually? But no, I mean, in this case, obviously not. No, I'm definitely going to try this. Yeah. Um, with uh, like it, it says, like, even if it's a little bit lumpy when you first stir it, it, it just smooths out. It tastes really good. I mean, lemon, butter, egg thickener <laughs> in my language. Good. So yeah. Thank you for watching Recipe Share. Be sure to click the link below to look at the event page on aedale.org to find the recipes we talked about and share your own in the comments. Join us next time when we are going to talk about recipes for treating yourself. We look forward to seeing what you've been making. So thanks for sharing. Bye bye. Recipe share. Recipe share. Share a little recipe.